You guys just celebrated the 30th anniversary yeah. of the start of Cheer. Yeah. Yeah. 30 years. Yeah. We're, we're just, we're hammering whole, a home, this old thing, aren't we? We're just, you're 66, bam. 30 years ago, you were hot, bam. I didn't say that. I said, that's a, that's a, that's a it's such an iconic, it's yeah. probably one of the most iconic television shows of all time, and it's yeah, been it, 30 years since it started. I know, we had this reunion, and it was the writers and the actors, and everyone got together, and it was really sweet. But before the dinner, we decided to let Entertainment Tonight come in because, and interview us, because we had come up at the same time at Paramount Studios, Cheers and Entertainment. Started, you guys both started at the same time. Yeah, so in came this very sweet lady, and was interviewing, and in our defense, it was noisy, it was loud. But she kept, she kept saying like, do you think there'll be a Cheers reunion show? And you saw a bunch of people in their 60s going, what? What did she say? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> you know. <laughs> horse walks into a bar. A horse walks into a car. That doesn't make sense. You know. Did people have those giant ear yeah. trumpets? <laughs> What's that they'll say now? Wow. You, yeah. uh, You've talked, I remember you talk about it over the years, but you're, you'd have a rivalry on the set with Woody Harrelson, sort of, because yeah. Woody Harrelson started out on he was, Cheers. He was, 20, he was a much younger guy. Yeah, he, we were all 37 when he came on, and he was 25, and 37's about when you realize you're no longer 25. <laughs> and we, we tried to beat him at everything. Basketball, he kicked our butt. Uh, I remember uh, Johnny Ratzenberg, a leg wrestled him. Bam, he, you know. Would he kill them? I, I, to this day, my arm has a little tendonitis from trying not to lose to him. Chess, everything. He just cleaned our clock. So he's, he's the guy we love to, uh, uh, if there's a practical joke, you want to pull it on Woody. Otherwise, it's wasted. Who cares? You want to get Woody. <laughs> Do you feel that you ever beat him? Did you ever get the better of him in anything? I did. I did. There was a, uh, when we were in our heyday, people would come watch us, audiences would come watch us rehearse not just the show night, but rehearse. And we were rehearsing and everyone was saying, Woody, in the cast, for God's sakes, man, wear some underwear. He was in sweatpants, you know, and it was like, <laughs> come on, you know, that's ridiculous. You right. know, put a jocks there, something. And he, he didn't. He and was just going commando. He was going commando. And he, at one point in, in the story, his character leaps up on a desk and goes, hey, everybody, give me your attention. And there's an audience like this watching and I, it's just like, Oh, I have to do this. Whoosh. Came down in his sweatpants, and he was horrified. And probably rehearsing, he was a little nervous. So, you know, he was doubly horrified. <laughs> <laughs> but they did get me back. They did get me back. I was, uh, a year later, he waited, a year later, I was in the shower, and George said, leave the door unlocked so I can come in and shave. We're all late. So I George left, went. George said, yeah, went, yeah. and I left the door unlocked. Door slams open, Woody rips open the uh, shower door and curses there with the Polaroid and goes <laughs> And I was immortalized for the, uh, <laughs> for the rap show video, the end of the year video that we showed everybody. Yeah. Where's that picture now? Uh, I have it framed. <laughs> I have wallet size. 